In the late 60s, the beginnings of a record label that would become synonymous with the word cheap began in Christchurch. Its name, Music World, run by entrepreneur Houghton Hughes. He knew what he was doing, he knew how to make cheap records and that's what he did. All kinds of stuff, piano accordion stuff, uh, really dodgy stuff, um, stuff recorded off other, off other albums, you hear scratches all through it, wonderful cheap cassettes. <laughs> They had a filthy name in the recording industry. Houghton blatantly took records from overseas. He'd advertised 20 greatest hits for a dollar or something, but it wasn't what you'd heard on the radio as the greatest hit. It was an outtake that he'd bought from someone cheap, or it was a live version. So in name only, it would be the great hit by the great act and you would buy your record, which was incredibly cheap, and you think, gee, this is wonderful. Music World did not just produce cheap international knockoffs, though. They also provided, for good or for bad, an opportunity for a lot of artists to record. Suzanne Prentice got her start with him. Help me believe in what I could And they sold really, really well on Music World. Whether he ever paid them, I don't know. The way it was done in today's world would seem as pretty horrific, where he would offer, say, three or four hundred dollars, and you'd get yourself to wherever to record this album, and for that money you delivered, with no rights whatsoever, the album to Music World. The label had its greatest success with the hit record Golden Saxophones, which sold over half a million copies worldwide. <laughs> 